So I love Hazel. Hazel is an amazing tool. In fact, one of the things I love about Hazel so much is that I don't have to think about it when it's running. It's just put the file where it goes. And at the end of the day, if you've set your rules right, Hazel's gonna do its job. However, what happens when you don't put those files where they go? Well, I'm gonna talk about how I created a companion for my Hazel workflow by implementing some of the same policies and processes in Keyboard Maestro. Let's talk about it. So let's, let's start with the hard part first. Why would I not be putting these files where they belong? Why would I not be moving audio to the audio folder or documents to the documents folder? Well, simple. I work with a lot of people. I do a lot of things. That means sometimes I'm downloading files from, you know, Dropbox or Google Drive, or sometimes I'm working on a program in which files and stuff get dragged and dropped into project folders instead of where they normally would go. I still wanna keep backups of everything. I still wanna process things later on, but if I'm really thinking about it, I don't wanna create a Hazel rule for all of these temporary and quasi permanent and you know going to be using for a few months later. I don't wanna be making rules for all that stuff. It just, it seems like too much. What I can wind up doing here is I can use Keyboard Maestro to implement a similar like process to what Hazel is doing. Now Keyboard Maestro has a bunch of different file attribute setting principles and we're not gonna get too deep into that. I wanna talk about one in particular that I think is the strongest of them all. And that is the for each in finder selection block. Now, I'm gonna walk through one of my individual shortcuts and talk about how it works. So I like to back up all of my audio files into a tool called Backblaze and particularly the B2 cloud storage part of Backblaze. Think of it as like massive external hard drives, but all in the cloud. And if you ever need a copy of it, they'll just send you one and you're good to go. So I do this because mostly it's cheaper than buying terabytes and terabytes of external hard drives. Um, I think right now I've probably got a little over a terabyte of data in there. Actually, I've probably got like a terabyte and a half of data in there now. And it costs me like $3 a month, which is great. Like I, I can't compete with that, so I'm not gonna try. Then I use a command line tool called rclone that allows me to send data from my computer over to Backblaze B2. Now there are other ways to do this. I just chose rclone because it seemed easiest at the time. I've got a bunch that runs every morning that just automatically backs up all of that data. It just takes it from the backup folder and moves it over to Backblaze's B2 storage. How do I get all of the files there? Well, that's where Hazel comes in. Um, I have a bunch of different Hazel rules. They're all the same rule, but they're in different locations. It takes audio and video files and moves them in to that backup folder on my desktop. And then of course, Bunch comes and does its thing and it's there, it's done. I don't have to think about it anymore. But again, what about all those files that I didn't put there? Now it's not important that I move files to the backup folder. I mean, it should happen eventually. Uh, I usually run clean my Mac once or twice a week just to make sure I'm keeping up with file storage, make sure I'm not running out of space. Often it'll warn me like, hey dummy, you only got like 20 or 30 gigs of space left. You should probably move stuff over. Uh, so that's when I go and I'm like, oh, let me find some files and I don't have to drag and drop and move stuff. I just hit the command and it moves stuff over. So let's talk about that keyboard maestro rule. So the for each path in Finder selection option is simple. Basically you go into Finder and you select a bunch of files. Then when Keyboard Maestro runs, it will run the same processes over each file that you've selected. See this, I like this because I don't have to worry about where the files are. I just have to focus on where they're going, which is that backup folder. Super easy to do, super easy to set up. And if I wanted to, if I wanted to even get my navigation in order and start organizing files better, 
I could implement that same process, but just point to a different folder. And just like that, everything's organized again. And that's it, it's pretty simple. In fact, I could make a ton of these. And because I'm not tying the actual directions to a particular folder, and I'm doing it based on the files that have been selected, it actually makes it easier to process these files than it would to have a hazel rule for every single type of file and folder that I could ever come up with. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's been informational and has helped you out in some way in your workflow. Let me know how you're using Keyboard Maestro, Hazel, and many of the other automation tools that we talk about on the channel in the comments below. I've been Jay Miller, and until next time, I don't know, uh, go move files or something. See ya.